The moon completes a full orbit around Earth, covering 360 degrees in approximately 27.3 days, known as a sidereal month. However, it takes about 29.5 days for the moon to return to the same position relative to both the Earth and the Sun due to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. This period is termed a synodic month. When the moon passes between Earth and the Sun, its shadow could be cast on Earth, and this is when a solar eclipse can take place. But if the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun roughly once a month, why are solar eclipses so rare? This is the size of the moon and Earth to scale, and this background that they are sitting on is the Sun. But because the Sun is so much further from Earth than the moon, they both appear roughly the same size. The moon's orbit is elliptical, which means that its distance from Earth can vary by almost 43,000 kilometers depending on its position in its orbit. This variability in distance, along with the similar apparent sizes of the Sun and Moon as viewed from Earth, plays an important role in solar eclipses. Let's look at why. If the Moon is near its closest point to Earth on its orbit, or its perigee, it will appear larger than the Sun. This is where the term supermoon comes from. Because of this larger perceived size, the Moon has the capacity to block out the entire Sun if it passes in front of it. Its shadow would have two distinct parts, the umbra and the penumbra. Within the umbra, shown here inside the red ring, the sun is completely covered by the moon. If you are within the umbra on Earth, you will not be able to see the sun at all as the umbra passes over you. This phenomena is known as totality. The remainder of the shadow, whatever falls outside of the ring, is referred to as the penumbra. If you are within the penumbra on Earth, you will still see a portion of the sun. Now, what happens if the moon is at its apogee, the furthest point from Earth? In this scenario, the moon will appear smaller than the sun. Even when the moon is directly in front of the sun, you will still see the sun's outer edges, creating what is known as an annular eclipse. Because the moon cannot block out the sun entirely, the shadow does not have an area of totality. This shadow is called the entumbra. But this still doesn't explain why solar eclipses are so rare, and the answer to that lies in the orbital planes of the Earth and the Moon. This is the orbital plane of the Earth, or the ecliptic, and this is the Earth's orbital path around the Sun. The Moon's elliptical orbit is shown here, orbiting the Earth nearly once a month. But the most important detail about the Moon's orbit is its 5.1 degree tilt. Because of this tilt, as the Moon orbits the Earth, it will continually switch sides of the ecliptic from above to below through each orbit. The points in which the moon crosses through the ecliptic are known as the lunar nodes. There are of course two of them, and they are demonstrated here in red. At this time of the year, when the moon is passing between Earth and the Sun, the moon and its shadow are above Earth. From Earth, the moon will pass over the Earth and miss it. Now, let's fast forward time by three months. When the moon is passing between the Earth and the Sun, it is also passing through a lunar node. It is perfectly in line with the Sun and Earth, and its shadow may reach Earth. This is when an eclipse can happen. The remainder of the year will mirror the first half we just saw. Three months later, the moon will pass under the Earth when it is between the Sun and the Earth. But here, once again, the moon will pass through its second lunar node and be in line with the Sun and Earth. This is known as an eclipse season and the moon's shadow can be cast on Earth once again. Although the lunar nodes must be in line with the Sun and Earth for an eclipse to happen, the moon's elliptical orbit, position within its own orbit, and several other factors will dictate the type and location of the eclipse that the Earth will experience. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.